hello guys today we learn how to implement web api with both method in sp.net mvc we have required visual studio 2015 mvc 5 version as well as 2012 or higher version we use here attribute routing to prefix to define the url for web api for vss like uh, put a route prefix api imply and top of controller and in action method route edit on top of action method where you want to assess using this url and finally our url url like look like this http localhost and this point this will be your website api url after that api imply edit so that is the final url from where we can access edit the employee data for particular employee let us start first we need the employee table already i have employees where employee id big integer and that should be primary key in same way name and salary i have three fields okay now i want to record update the record when imply this each 121 so like name and soul and salary 35 and 35 k i have to update it for this imply and then you can put any name what do you want uh need to be collected as per the document for this we need a edu data dot net to add entity framework then after that need a model so when we add a new dot net so when we you you add a, a new entity model then that model class will be added autom automatically also maybe uh, create in view model in separate in separate way after that we write some code to edit means uh, edit the record then i have put here route edit and i have to use here http put method so uh, in top of the uh, action method i have put http put and there is ihttp action result which are found which is found in uh, web api 2 and that is a method name after that uh, imply and that is the object of imply this imply is the model class so which is declared here and see uh, that is the whole method of uh, http put and need to pass the data in json like imply id 121 name ln sole and sell it 35k so now let us see in the real example how it will work and how we pass the data from postman uh, also you can pass in from the client so for testing purpose we pass first here from the postman and then data will be updated in the database now let us see open visual studio go to file new project then i have choose web basic.net web applications now i want to change the project name like i have put web app, web api sample put method you can give any name according to your current uh, project requirement click on ok so i have to need to choose sv.net 4.6.1 template empty and add folder score references for web api and click on ok button now our project is created uh, there is all the empty now first i have to add edio dot 
एडियो डेटा एडियो फ्रेमवर्क सो क्लिक ऑन मॉडल्स राइट एंड ऐड न्यू आइटम गो टू डेटा एंड आई टू चूज एडियो डॉट नेट एन टी टी डेटा मॉडल एंड क्लिक ऑन एड बटन नेक्स्ट क्लिक ऑन न्यू कनेक्शन गिव द सर्वर नेम एंड चूज एयर एस क्यू एल सर्वर ऑथेंटिकेशन एंड सर्वर नेम विल बी योर सर्वर नेम सो यू कैन पुट योर सर्वर नेम एंड यूजर नेम डेटा बेस यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड वाट एवर योर पासवर्ड एंड सेलेक्ट डेटा बेस विच है you have to create like i have already created a sample database so choose samples and click yes and then click next button entity framework 6 next now go to tables and i need to choose imply table so already we know imply table is created and click finish so our model 1.edmx will be created so you can check implies.css which is imply class css and their property imply id name and sally which is created when we add the add. so no need to create another one to model imply model uh now i have to go to controllers and need to create one controllers for web api click controllers and choose web api controller empty and click on add so we can put here imply name of the controller imply and click on add button so our controller will be created with the name of imply now i have to add route prefix so route prefix and name of the vary from where you can give the ssd this url so i put api imply and i have to make one action method so put a public i http action result ihttp action results and method name means uh, edit imply you can put edit imply and you can data uh, also i have to put on top of for final where i route and give the name what edit and also i have put here http method i want to use here http or uh, put method so you can note http put method you can see here this is our http put method with uh, web api sp.net now i have to write some code to update the imply record in database through the entity model so let us write here db in db context sample entities so i need to add namespace for this sample entity equal to db sample entity check whether model is valid or not basically all the required fields is coming or not so i put not model state is valid then it will return the bad request okay now also i have to make object of imply so imply and make a object of this class object imply now check whether data is available or not here i have write db dot implies where check x dot x emp id with 
is in database and equal equal to object emp dot imply id which comes from the model or from the uh, client or postman and i have write dot first or default then return the employees as a object so that check emp id contains the information if already recorded exist if if not find any record then you will give the null value so if check apply d not equal to run not equal to null then check emp id name equal to object emp dot name will be replacing the new one into this one also cell will replace old one to new one then after that we'll save db dot save changes this way the data will be saved in database if no record found we can return not found and in the case of return always return ok check emp id means new record will be uh, as a json format it will return so you can see here new thing like not found ok this is the new return in the uh, web api 2.0 so now i have to run the application check whether our put method is working or not so run the application now open the web postman go to apps postman click on postman if you have don't you have not install extension of chrome with postman so you can install it extension also you can download and install as a desktop applications now our full url like localhost 62141 that is the base url and now i have after that i have to put what api imply and then edit so we can put first uh open postman api imply and then i have to write here in top of action method edit so you can put here edit also okay now i have to pass data like uh, i need to pass the data in json format like imply id 121 need to change the their name and salary so take it and pull paste in the body now i have to choose for passing the data from the postman for put method need to select first put method put the full url and put in body the json and check raw and you can need to choose application json and after that we need to click on send button so first need to make a breakpoint so we can understand it so click on send button after clicking we see there is no response get didn't get any response so i think there is some missing so let us check 6241 need to change this ip 6241 now click again same so our debugger will be break this point and now click on f10 so you can check whether it is coming the data or not in this imply model so we get the data name ln imply id 121 and sell it 35k now let us see for 121 there is data ps and sell it 3000 so now click on f10 so it debug line by line so now when we check existing of data there is some data so not equal to null then this will replace from old to new one like new one data replace with old one replace with new one and after that now data will be saved in database and 
written okay this is simple okay in web api 2.0 and you also we have written the imply details as a json format so now press of press f5 and now you can see status 200k data will be updated and imply id 121 ln soul and sell it 35000 now we can check in database also so click on execute and you can see imply id 121 which has changed name and sell it so that's way we can see that our put method to put method will work King properly and also we see we pass data from the uh, postman thanks for watching if you want to view more videos please subscribe my youtube channel